Arsenal Fan TV, much better today by Arsenal. Um, well, second half, a much better 45 minutes. The first half was very poor from both teams, I thought. I was, I was looking at it, I was like, is this Arsenal versus Man United? But second half, we stepped it up. I think you hit the nail right on the head there, Robbie. I think these two used to be the two big heavyweights in Premier League football, and this was like the game of the season. Today we saw two teams no longer at the top of the tree. Uh, Man United spent 400 million since they was, last won the league. They've obviously got their priorities elsewhere. And we are, you know, we're adapting to this new system, 3-4-2-1. Now, that game was going nowhere for 55 minutes. It took a, a shot from Granit Xhaka. It's only the second goal from a, a, one of our central midfield players in 87 appearances wow. of Xhaka, Ramsey, Cochran and Elneny, if you add them all together. Which ain't been good enough, has it? It hasn't been good enough. And I think the thing is, in this system, um, you need, first of all, you need three quality defenders, right? Now, first of all, Rob Holding has showed today that he belongs in that team and he's the future of the club. Mm. You also need a, a, a player down the middle with pace. Danny Welbeck today offered something that Olivier Giroud does not, and he should stay down the middle. What you also need is two players breaking with pace on either side. So basically, when you play this system, it is um, you, you sacrifice your attacking fluency to have a solid sort of system, a solid sort of shape. But when you get the ball, you need two central midfield players who are good at retrieving the ball and driving forward, and then you need... Players going in the right and the left with pace, so that when you're driving forward, that takes you into attacking areas. The only thing I worry about, I think we've lost our identity as a club. Under Wenger, we used to be playing slick, attacking, passing football. We no longer do that. We no longer move the ball quick enough in central midfield. And we have not got players who drive forward and get into positions. The only person today, Oxlade Chamberlain, who was outstanding, provided a great cross, and I think he's the future of the club. If Wenger's going to do two things, Right. Um, well, two things. He's, if he does leave at the end of the season, he's, he's given us Rob Holding and he needs to nail down Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain because he's the future of the club. We can't let that go, guy go. Now, obviously, this is his first victory in 13 over Mourinho. Now, when we're playing 3-4-2-1 against Man United in a 4-2-3-1 shape, uh, I've got no... I think that we're co comfortable in that shape. What I worry about is when we play, and we're going to play Chelsea in the cup final, and everyone's talking about we want top four. We do want top four to... Get, attract the big players for next season but we've got to, we want to win a trophy and mm. Chelsea will play a similar sort of system to us and when we played Tottenham last week Wenger did not adapt to that system mm. now Tottenham started with a four at the back they went three at the back Dyer went back into a back three Wenger did not respond Pochettino is the new Mourinho for Wenger he's played him six times now in the Premier League he hasn't beaten him once and what he did last week uh, Pochettino. This, this is what worries me about Wenger, who does not respond tactically. And this is, we've had this conversation every year. You say to me, what does Wenger need to do to improve? And I talk about tactically. Now, he's decided to go with a 3 4 2 1 shape. And he, he, I know he switched it around a bit last week, but he worsened the, the team last week by the changes he made. Now, when last week, when they made that change, they were starting to get on top, and Wenger did not respond. When we play Chelsea, they'll be playing a very similar sort of shape and formation, and that's what worries me with this system. It's all right when you get ahead, and we've got everybody behind the ball. If we go behind, like what happened at Tottenham last week, we do not respond. And last week, when they took the lead, uh, it started with Dyer went into a back three. Sanchez did not press on to uh, Dyer. Uh, as a result of that, Gibbs did not press on to Trippier. Trippier. Ozil did not press on to Ben Tonigan. That would, if, had they all done that, then the Ox would have been able to move up, and then... Gabriel would have moved out to, to uh, attack Song. Now, when we play Chelsea, they play a very similar shape, and Arsenal are going to have to work out a way of combating that system. D don't get carried away today. It was a good victory, and I'm pleased that we finally got one over on Mourinho. But let's face facts. When we play Chelsea in the cup final, we want to win a trophy. And that system that Chelsea play is a very similar system to what Tottenham played last week, and we struggle with that system. So that is the dilemma for Wenger. One final question. What, what, what's more important to you? Winning the FA Cup or getting into the Champions League? I think every fan would say you want a trophy. You want to win, you want to win a trophy. Um, at the same time, one of the reasons the club has drifted into this state it's in is because every year we've sort of accepted top four as a trophy. And that's why the players have got that sort of lack, that hunger for me. I think we've lost our identity as a club under Wenger. We used to have physical, powerful midfield players. We had a winning mentality. And then all of a sudden he changed the system around with tiki tacky brittle technical midfield players and we got overrun by these better sides now what I'm worried about Robbie I'll be honest with you Tottenham luckily for us are going to that new stadium next year but tactically they've got a coach who is far ahead of Arsene Wenger and that's for me why I think Wenger should walk at the end of the season he said that he would sign a new contract judge me in May on results now the results have not been good enough we've lost 
nine games this season, and we've still got four to go. And we've if been, he gets in the top four? If he gets in the top four... And he wins the FA Cup, then what? It, it, it'd be a great way for him to go, Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>